you have mail. You have mail. Well, this was us last night. Nobody else here at all. Did rain a lot. See a bit of blue sky now, so hopefully it'll be a bit better today. I'm currently reading this book that I bought at the visitor centre. It's really fascinating. It's about all the different uh, homes that were uprooted for the flooding of the valleys and uh, how everything went on, even down to the uh, Act of Parliament that had to be passed to make it all happen. But anyway, we're now having breakfast. Another breakfast, another day. Hello. <laughs> you join us after quite a disturbed night where we ended up with both dogs on the bed, didn't we? We did, yeah. It started the to rain. rain. Yeah, Luna was not keen on rain in the van, so uh, she was on the bed having a cuddle as well. So we were like that, so that the, the dogs could have the space. <laughs> Any of you, if you've got a dog, you'll know uh, how it is. They're space grabbers, aren't space they? Space grabbers. You may be able to see behind us that it looks quite bright and sunny. But the forecast for today in Wales is rain. But there is a walk we want to do if we can, yeah. isn't there? Because the, the water levels are so low at the moment, it's a unique opportunity um, to, uh, if we can walk around the other side of the reservoir, the Karagdu Reservoir, um, there's some uh, foundations of, of um, Cum, Cum Ilan. Ilan House, mm. which had links to Percy Shelley. Poet, famous poet, if you don't know. <laughs> so we want to have a look at that. We can already see, I put the drone up yesterday, we can see some of the ruins of it. It's mm. not, it just looks like a pile of bricks really, but uh, we'd like to have a look at that. Yeah, mainly because the pile of bricks is very rarely seen. Yeah. You have to have a uh, very dry, dry weather, which of course we've had this summer. But whether we make it will depend on what the weather does today. As I say, they are forecasting heavy rain, which we had throughout the night pretty much, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, and um, yeah, so we're hoping yeah, it's a good opportunity. We we thought if if we didn't do it today, we probably won't ever do it, you know. Mm. So so we're going to have give that a go. Yeah. So but, keep watching to see if we actually get there. Yeah. Better get our energy up and have our breakfast. <laughs> it looks nice, darling. Lovingly prepared. Same as yesterday's mm. yogurt fruit granola. So, we're doing a quick walk with the girls before we do a bigger walk later, just so they can do what they've got to do. And the rain has stopped for the moment, which is always a good thing. But the uh, heather and everything is just so stunning. The view behind me is pretty good too. <laughs> I'll show you the heathers in a minute. This is Luna trying to catch flies or midges. <laughs> it's quite funny to watch. Keeps them entertained for hours. <laughs> Must admit the flies are rather annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Catch some for me. <laughs> Any flies, Maya? 
<laughs> no flies for you. <laughs> Luna. Trying to see if we can outrun the flies <laughs> as they're driving the dogs and me crazy. If you stop, they, uh, they get you. It's not much fun. <laughs> fun watching Luna though. <laughs> well, I can't think of a better walk to start my day. It's just so peaceful. There was no one in the car park last night, not a soul. It was just so quiet and peaceful, apart from the rain. Yeah, loved it. I should say that uh, that car park has a sign there saying no overnight, but we are cheeky and we do park there. Not because we like to break the rules, it's just it's very quiet there and doesn't seem to get used very much. Um, and we always like to think we leave it better than we arrive. So yeah, a bit cheeky probably. But all of these no parking and no overnight seem to have come in since Covid. Sorry about the heavy breathing. Whew. It's quite a steep hill. Um, so yeah, there are some very popular car parks where we wouldn't do that because it doesn't seem fair on other people who use the car park either. But for us, it's, you know, an empty car park in the middle of nowhere, out of everyone's way. Doesn't seem quite as bad. And if we get asked to move, we'll jolly well move. A lot of sniffing going on. Did he got it, Maya? Looks like the rain might be on its way. I better get back to Merlin. The girls know we're heading back. I've said the M word. Uh, so we're going back to Merlin. They'll lead the pack. If we're not all together, which we're not at the moment, it's just me and them, they're not so happy. They prefer they prefer it if we're all together, which is why they're keen to get back to the van. As for me, I could stay here all day. It's just so peaceful. My kind of place. I love it like this. No people, just a couple of dogs. And this is just glorious. Fir trees, heather, and a nice little walk. And we're back. Wait, have to have your paws done. Come here. Oh. How you wait? <laughs> Form an orderly queue, ladies, please. <laughs> orderly queue. Wait there, Maya. And we're off. Well, that was another very nice park up, wasn't it? Yeah, it was beautiful, wasn't it? Yeah, Great. we love it here. We love it. I'd always come back to this spot. Is a now very familiar sight if you've been watching the vlog so far. Our walk today is going to start from the same car park that we parked in yesterday. There we are. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I've got a good lock on the wheel as well. So if anyone steals it, they'd have a job to drive. They'd go into the dam or something, would they? <laughs> At the moment, we're heading round the edge of the reservoir and we're um, looking to get to this place, Cum Ilan House, which has obviously now been flooded. 
The house has got strong links with the poet Shelley. Um, evidently his uncle owned it, but Shelley stayed there regularly. We're both feeling a bit achy today, aren't we, Gray? Yeah. Because we did yeah, quite a bit really of... Feeling walking today. No, no. We're not in a walking mood, are we? No. But uh, it's got to be done. And if we just plod on, we'll be all right. Yeah, we're not rushing. That's the main thing. But it's a lovely walk. This would be so pretty in the autumn, too, when the leaves change colour. We've already said, got to come back here in autumn. Got to come back here in winter just to see it in all its seasons because uh, we've only ever really been during the spring, summer. I don't think we've ever been here in the autumn before. Around this particular part of the reservoir, there are loads and loads of broadleaf trees. It's in actual fact an area of um, specific scientific interest. It's very sauna-esque today on this walk. When we left Merlin, he was showing 20, 25 degrees and um, yeah, quite humid. But we've had to put raincoats on because they do forecast heavy showers for today. Whether we get them remains to be seen. There's actually no clear path to Kum Ilan House, so we're hoping that it'll become clear to us once we get there. Ah, oh, yeah, there's a footbridge and a road bridge by the looks of it. There's a bridge, Maya. Come on, then. Be a good girl. How are we doing? How are we doing? Good girl! Good girl! You're very good! You're getting better! Regular viewers will know that Maya has developed a bit of a dislike for bridges. Anything with slats in it, really. That's a better view. You've got your artistic tree branch with a dam in the distance. So we've already crossed one river to get here. And we have another river to cross if we're going to try and get to uh, the house. I do like the brow of a hill because you never know what's the other side. <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh, actually we're okay, it's a level bit. <laughs> so, we can't go straight up, we have to go right. Down here. And Graham was right. After every uphill, there's a downhill, and this is it. And this is a fine old tree. Just look at that. That's seen some sights, hasn't it? Eh? Yeah, yeah, Graham's just saying they've really looked after the paths nicely. And I think we're headed in the right direction. There's water ahead. Oh, yeah. Really slippery. Thank you, Grey. Yeah. So let me let me go and have a look, and I'll pull you down. If... Okay. Oh. Graham's just going to have a look to see if I need to go down there because it's quite a big step. Oh, well done, Luna. Yeah, can you do it, Maya? Mind you, don't hurt yourself. Yay! And no, I will not be doing that, I assure you. Hello, Danny. Yeah, it's nice of you to put this seat here, isn't it? It is very thoughtful. Very thoughtful indeed. Right, I'm just going to sit down on here for a minute. Oh, take in the view. Look at that. I would imagine not too many people get this view of Garagadu. And to think I flew the drone under that arch yesterday. I think it was the second one, big one from the left. Amazing to think that where we're standing is normally under lots and lots of water.
It's incredible how quickly nature recovers too. See how green it all is. Well, we can see the pile of bricks we're headed for. Still a little way to go. <laughs> there you go. Just look at that amazing outcrop of rocks. With the trees just seeming to grow out of it. And you can see the level that the water's normally at. Amazing. At this point we can see that our access to where we want to go is cut off by water. It looks like we're going to have to take the long way round. I think we're going to have to head upstream again and find a bridge to cross over. We're hoping to find the path. Because we went down to the water's edge, we've come the wrong way. Hence, we've had to scramble up a steep bank, you can see over there, and we're trying to now navigate a, a path that's a, a kind of a path. <laughs> yeah, you could. <laughs> yeah, you could walk across that log. Can you? He can see the bridge. You see, we had that choice, didn't we, back there? We had the path, or down to the edge of the reservoir and we chose the reservoir. If we'd chosen the path, we wouldn't have got in this pickle. It's a lovely walk actually, really enjoying it. It's just a bit scary in parts because it's so steep and obviously it's not a proper walk, it's a kind of a clamber. Oh yeah, let's go up there then. I quite like bridges that look like they're in good condition. Mm. Ooh, looks like the sun might be trying to come out. Yeah. Not sure we're going to get there this way. And there's the dam again. Ooh, rough terrain. <laughs> yeah. In the slope of the hill here, there's these great big lumps of quartz. There's quite a few of them. Another one over there. Well, we've walked to where we believe the house is um, and we're on the main path now through the woods. But unfortunately, there's no way to get down to the sides of the dam. The bank here is really, really steep and uh, I can't think how we're actually going to get down there. So this is probably as close physically as we can get to that house, but you can't actually see it, which is a pity. There's just no way of going down there. We're so close, yet so far. The problem we've got is that not many people build paths to houses that have submerged. And Luna's got stuck. Oh, shall I rescue you? Your poor little thing. Hang on. How did you get your head through there? There you go. Can you fit through that gap? That's it. There you go. Well, we're currently sitting where the water would be. Yes, we'd be up to our bum. In the reservoir. Water. Yeah. In fact, it'd be over our heads, wouldn't it? I think. Uh, I think we'd be up to our necks, really. Up to our necks, in it. Yeah, we're near, we're near the top of the level. Situation normal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got fairly close to the stones, didn't we? Yeah, we were trying to get to uh, Shelley's uncle's house, Ilan House, it's mm. called. Um, you've probably just seen a pile of uh, rubble. Bricks. That's it. Yeah, that's where it used to be. I would imagine they dismantled it before they fully flooded it. Yeah. Yeah, I was hoping to find an old tea set or something I could mm -hmm. bring away with me. I was hoping to find an old poetry book. Yeah. Signed by Shelley. <laughs> Percy. Mm, Percy Shelley. But no, there was none of that. We found a lot of brambles. We had a lovely walk though. 
We did. We did have a lovely walk. Very different kind of a walk, wasn't it, really? Yeah. Walking around the reservoir when it's quite empty. It's kind of surreal. It's a different sort of landscape, really, with all the different levels and patterns and things. It's quite, a, it's quite an arduous walk if you decide to do it, especially if you go off the path like we did a few times. It's, it's quite a tricky one. Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, but it's well worth the effort. You get the stunning views of the dam as well, which is really nice. So we're just taking five minutes, aren't we? Yeah. Gathering our strength for the trek back to Have Merlin. we got a bar to eat? We have. I can actually see Merlin from here. Yeah. It's a long way away. And that's just going straight line. And we've got to go all the way round, haven't we? A lot of calories burnt off this week, Thank I you. think. Hopefully. So, yes, you've had your little snacks. I can give you one more. We don't, it's not only us who have to have snack bars when we're on a, on a trek. You get the little one, because you're the little one. And, oh, hello. I thought you'd be close by. You get the big one. Here, I'll put it down for you, because you're the big one. Yes, that's all that there is on offer. You've already had one. Yeah, it's lovely and fresh here, isn't it? Yeah. Quite a few flying creatures. There used to be a, where this stream joins up with mm. the main river, there used to be a little bridge over there. I'd imagine it's down in the middle there. Right, yeah, because this was just a little river, wasn't it? Mm. The Oan. Yeah. Now it looks very deep where you can see the water. It suddenly changes from sort of a gentle slope to going really black as if it's just a sheer drop. I'll take a picture to show you. Beautiful though. Oh, isn't it just? Don't eat the flies, Maya. You've just had a biscuit. See? Me taking a picture for you. <laughs> you can see the level change, can't you? You can. It sort of goes from light brown to, to real inky black, doesn't it? That's where the monsters live. Give over. I <laughs> hope not. Want any monsters? It's definitely on my bucket list to come back here when it's all full up again. It might take a few years after the drought we've had this year, but uh, yeah. Have you seen this dog? Look at her. She started off trying to clean her paws, and now she's made her face really dirty as well. Maya. Look at you. Hey, bit of a steak. Bit of a steak, aren't you? Yeah. Cleaning your paws made you dirtier. Ah, oh, well, it'll brush off when we get back to Merlin. Luna, what do you reckon? says because we're here you have to build a stone tower.
brilliant. Well, we're going to leave this vlog just here. But if you're wondering where I'm off to, join us next time because I've just had an idea.